Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to start playing Rogue Legacy. Uh, this is a roguelike game, I think it's called, I'm not sure. It's got some platforming in it as well, I think. I've played a bit of this game uh, a few days ago on a live stream, but today I'm gonna do a little, like a let's play sort of thing. I don't know if we can call this a let's play, but um, I'll, I'll explain a bit about the game um, but this is a new profile than uh, the one I'm using for streaming uh, let's take a look at the character so this is level 0 knight it's just a basic basic hero so to say and uh, every time you go through a dungeon this I uh, like like dungeon crawling as well you uh, basically you just die every time every time you get gold which you use to upgrade like items later on and um what else like skill uh, skill tree magic stuff and um i'll show you the skill tree like this is the beginning of the skill tree so we need to get 50 gold to unlock it um but yeah i'm just let's, let's just get into it You'll see what what I mean by uh, by, by stuff. So you go into the castle. This is after this point you can't use uh, your money anymore on upgrades. Uh, once you finish the first time you go through the castle, there's gonna be a uh, Charon, some, some dude, and you'll have to sacrifice all your money before you can come back in. So every time you you get through the dun the, the dungeon castle and you die, you want to spend as much money as you can. There's uh, these journals all over the place, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read them because I don't know all. Of, I think I only have found the first. Well, this is the first and the second one I think uh, while playing on my own. And uh, yeah, treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter ca Castle Hampson. That's where we are right now. This, this cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which cure, will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. So, what? This game, every time you die, your, uh, like your kids follow you up, so to say. So, when I died, uh, the next hero that I can choose, it's uh, one out of three. Um, it's gonna be like uh, the. It's gonna be like a, a child of this this hero that I'm using right now. What's his name? That's Sir Lee. Sir Lee. And uh, it's a game where you need to have a lot of patience and. Well, some skill as well, obviously. And, um... Yeah, I, I... There's not much else to say about this game other than just try to... Oh, shit. I got hurt. That's not what we want. We don't want to get hurt. At all. Anytime. Because... Damage... Well, you die easily. Especially in the beginning, when you have almost... No bonuses. These doors here, they uh, they go through to a boss, but I'm definitely not ready to take on a boss just yet. The, the bosses are pretty difficult. These chests have either gold or blueprints, I think. Some of them have like magic runes you can use to uh, get like special abilities. Oh shit! Pay attention! Pay attention! And. Uh, there we go. And uh, the further you you go, the harder the enemies will become, obviously. Gotta make sure. Because sometimes these balls of fire can pass through the wall. Depends on how close he is to the wall. Oh shit. These guys they are annoying. And some gotta watch out for these paintings as well because some of these paintings are enemies as well, so gotta be careful about that. We already got 530 gold, which is awesome. Alright. 
that's not an enemy. This is. And. Ah, damn it. I got hit. Run. Run. Oh, no. There we go. Got rid of it. So, for a first run, this is pretty good. There we go. I think we cleared the roof now. And uh, these giant balls, spike balls, I don't know what else to call them, those, those, those purple things that fly above me right now, uh, they do get destroyed eventually if, if they bounce enough from the walls, but sometimes, well, it can take a while, so I'm not, uh, if you, you can wait if you want until they get destroyed by, uh, the terrain. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm almost dead. I have 6 HP left. So, uh, I'm probably gonna die pretty soon. But we'll try, uh, to keep on going as long as possible. And, uh, keep an eye on those windows. Every once in a while you can see Santa Claus and his reindeer fly by. No fighting. So this, this is a, a special room. Let me make sure... Uh, that's not the map. This is a map. So, you, uh, I'm in the top right corner of the map. That's the room I'm in, and the... the on the right side of the screen, you can see uh, the what's it called legend. What the items are. So to get that chest, we are not allowed. To, ah, fuck! I died. We well to get to, we had to get to the chest without fighting anyone. So uh, so we could get what's in it, but we died. So this is what I meant. So this is like the tutorial guy. I I skipped the tutorial because I well whatever. And this is this was a guy we used just now, and these are like the heirs to this guy. So we've got a mage, a knight, and a barbarian, and each each heir has special traits. Like this one is is a dwarfism, so he's small, but that's kind of good because sometimes you can uh, get through um, like shortcuts and stuff uh, to to get special items and special chests if you're lucky. Um, and the, the second trait on this guy is your Firmeroided attacks knock enemies further. So there's good, good uh, traits and bad traits. Sometimes you'll get someone that ha only has like this guy, who only has one trait. You're skinny, so every hit sends you flying. But and there's uh, there's there's heroes that have no traits at all. And um, you can get good ones like bald baldism or something. I don't know what's called exactly, but basically that means you're bald, but doesn't have any negative side effects that I know of. Um, like this guy has no, doesn't get knocked back, and remember things with extreme clarity. A lot of these traits I don't know what they do yet, and I, and I think I'm gonna take this guy. And. So this is this is the skill tree. We're, we're gonna start by getting this mini. He's gonna if you unlock him, you can build the. You can get like uh, if you get blu blueprints, you can get better armor and weapons and such, which is useful. Um, let's go take a look if he has anything decent because we do still have 490 gold, which we might want to spend. I'm not gonna read the chat. Basically, he just says that he was uh, a great smith one day, and um, yeah, you, he can't do anything without um, without blueprints, which you have to find in chests, I believe. Uh, so we got a squire sword, it's seven more damage than what we had. Um, this gives us a boost in health and mana. I I think I I usually just get the armor first that I can get, like except for like this one, magic plus five. I don't really care about magic, and I don't even have enough money. So let's go back over here and see if we can spend more. Uh, 60 gold to unlock either one. Let's go with health because I generally genuinely use. Uh, let's check out what the other one was later. I genuinely use uh, armor, uh, uh, health more than magic. So this is the guy that I was talking about. This is Karen, and you have to pay the toll, as he said, as you just could, as you could could have just seen, and you have to give all your money. Later on, there's a, a skill that allows you to uh, like barter barter with him, so you don't have to pay everything. It's like 
percentage per skill increase, I believe. It's like the first one, that's 10%, and the second one will be 20%, I think, I don't know. And uh, this room is always the same, the starting room, the, with the... This is, I think, I don't know, I've actually never beaten any bosses, but... Like, every... On the four, in the middle, there's like the, the, the ram, I think. On the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right, there's like these smaller circles. Those are bosses, I think. The, the one in the top left is the boss for the castle. But the other three, I don't know where they are. There's like four areas, as you can see above me. So there's like the center, that's the castle. And where my sword is sort of pointing at, like there, that's the dungeon, that's the hardest. On top is the tower, and on the right is the forest. Um, that's stuff for later. And this is gonna be an annoying room. So, um, and that's why. Like the purple, purplish things on the floor, that's like spike traps, so if you step on them, Spikes jump up to deal damage to you, which is annoying. Oh no. I'm getting it. Alright. Alright. Ah. Well, let's skip that side for just for now. And um, that's that's the paintings that I just was was just talking about. These are annoying. They are pretty hard to hit, and they well, um, as you just saw, the, the 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 spiky ball just got destroyed without me even touching it. That's because it's bounced bounced uh, off the walls. For uh, uh, I don't know if it's. Like a set amount of times it has to. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's a mini boss. You. We don't want to fight that guy just yet. So let's l leave him be. Hmm. And as I said before, this game. If if I have said it before, I can't remember. But this game is. You have to have patience in this game, and that's not my strongest suit, patience. But we'll we'll eventually figure it out, and we'll we'll get better. I hope. Okay, there's absolutely nothing here. Oh crap! I gotta get get down. So I died again, which is gonna happen a lot in the beginning because I don't have any decent armor, nor do I have any like skills unlocked. Um, let's go. We have barbarian, mage, and a knight. I prefer the barbarians because they can take quite a, a lot of hits. One of the traits as well I, is gay. I think that doesn't have any side effects as well, like bad or bad or good ones. And then the coro. Copper, the swearing thingy. I don't know what about that. You've got two left hands, which basically, if if you're facing to the right and you use your magic, it goes to the left, and if you're on the left, watching to the left, it goes to the right. So it's pretty simple. The 3D is annoying to watch, but it's it's not that bad. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the barbarian. There we go. Uh. So this upgrade knight to paladin. If step press white to block all incoming damage with your shield. Let's let's get that. I've learned how to block. That uses MP, so I'm not a big fan of that. And it's it's just not not really that good, to be honest, in my opinion. And this this is like the sights. I I should show off the magic as well. The the sights is it's not bad. Goes through walls, I think. It's good for hitting enemies that are kind of far away, but it's not the best one, in my opinion. Let me check the time real quick. After this, I think after this one, uh, I'll uh, probably end the episode for today. Oh no. 
So these skeleton dudes are kind of annoying as well. Because their bones can go through walls as well. Ah, oh, damn it. And, uh, yeah, they're just annoying. But later on, they're just a piece of cake to, to, to kill. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, wait, let me let me get this. And as you can see, I can I barely took any damage from uh, this this guy hitting me, the skeleton dude. And the the, ch the chandeliers and the, the the statues and every pretty much anything can give health or XP or mana mana points, which is fine. That's just generally just break everything. Oh no. Ah, damn it. Oh, don't run into him. Don't run into the bad guy. There we go. And there's like a downward attack as well, but it's pretty, pretty bad. There we go. And these, the big guys, they do hit for a lot of damage. If they, well, a lot, a lot more than the other, other enemies. And those eyes are, they shoot. Oh, that's a painting. You can see a move when you, when, they, when you get closer to them. Out. Let's get you out of the way first. And you, and get rid of you. They're not hard to figure out, most of the enemies that I've faced so far. But it just requires a lot of patience in some scenarios, and that's not really... <laughs> I'm not the best with patience, but it's okay. I like this game a lot. I've only played it for a couple of hours now, but I really do enjoy it. There's... Once you get used to like most of the enemies, it's not that bad. Oh no. Oh shit. And as you see, as you can see, some of these guys that took like two hits before now take three or more hits even. That's because I'm getting higher up in the castle. Which means they are getting tougher, but they do drop more gold and food. I, I don't know if enemies drop food to be honest. And if you see this, don't use it because it teleports you to a, a room in a different, different area of the castle. Get rid of this guy first. I don't think. Nope. Ah shit. That did hit me. Okay, that doesn't hit me from there. Nice. Okay, I thought it was gonna take two hits to, to kill that guy. There we go. Give me all the money. Sometimes you can easily cheap out some of the, the enemies, but I'm fine with that. The game is hard enough, so why shouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> if you can go, if you can take the easy route or the hard route, which one would you pick? And okay, uh, get you out of the way. Let's get you out of the way. Let's, let's wait until you fire your shot, and boom, you're gone. There we go. This is not a painting. This guy is annoying. Can you hit me from over there? Well, I can't hit you. No, you cannot. But I can't hit you from here, which is fine. 
There we go. Break all the things. Food. Nice. Defeat all enemies. These rooms are the worst. They have so many enemies. Or they barely have any enemies at all. Let's see. Can I... Oh, I'm out of mana. So, uh, for this room, I have no idea how to to do this. Because there is probably a way to get back there. I just don't know how. Or you have to use, like, magic abilities. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. We'll see. And let's move on. I haven't seen a platformer level, but there are some pretty annoying platform platform levels. Ouch. This might be There we go. Ow. No. Don't hit me again. Alright. Ouch. I just jumped right into the, the, the spikes. Which is perfect, of course. Why, why wouldn't I do that? That's another one of those. There we go. That wasn't that bad. Usually I have lots of trouble with the... Uh, the the, the 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 paintings. Wow, because they they tend to fly around. Oh shit! I have to watch out. With the the ceiling. <laughs> it's really annoying. You can't just jump like I usually do. There's a chest over here, but that guy's gonna be a annoying. There we go. go. All right, let's. That was pathetic. Let's look at the map. Uh, let's go. Well, we only can go right. Let's go to the to the like the the top and left, and then go down because I don't know what's gonna be in there, but let's hope it's something good. I just I don't want to jump into this bike because they do hurt a lot. And some of these tech death death minute messages are pretty funny. Go. Oh no. There we go. Got rid of him as well. Are you gonna. No, you are not. Let me get up here. There we go. Some of the enemies, as I said before, you can just cheap out. And I don't feel bad about doing it, but <laughs> sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Alright, let's not just jump down here. Okay, that's not a painting. Well, at least that's not a, an alive painting. Get out. Get the money. Get out. Get wrecked, son. Right. Let's see what's down here. Very just take no damage. Uh usually I just when it says take no damage I just I don't even bother because I know I'm gonna take damage and I don't wanna waste my health just yet. Uh I'm gonna go right in here as well. Cause I'm I, I need my hit point hit points. Because you die easily in this game. This, for instance, this room is probably gonna kill me. Uh, this, this, this is gonna be really annoying. Is there anything down here? No. There we 
go. One more. There we go. Perfect. And this is the this is what I meant with platforming, like doing this kind of stuff. Which is super annoying. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna make that jump without dying. I think. Can I go anywhere else? Yes I can. Um yeah, I'm not gonna bother with these guys. I want to get as much money as, pro as as I possibly can because uh, you will need it. Uh, let's go through here. Don't. I'm gonna say it again. Don't do this. This is dangerous. Uh, left and go down here. And left here. Up, up. I still think those are gonna come up, gonna go come alive, and just wanna hurt me. I can deal with these guys. Sure. It takes a bit of patience. That's all there is. right into that. Ah, I'm dead. Well, that was a pretty good run. <sighs> Lady Lisa has been slain by a skeleton, swearing words and signs and thingies. I killed a lot of things this round. Wow. That's really good. Alright, but that's gonna be it for this first episode of Rogue Legacy. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.